Wouldn't it be neat to have a small portable remote RFID tag scanner, a bit like this one, connected via LoRa? Pretty cool, huh? What magic lurks inside the little box then? Well, if we carefully remove the top, we can see that there's no real surprises. Um, this was the uh, little LoRa board that I've used um, before and was sending uh, temperature readings uh, over about a kilometer to my uh, other LoRa receiver. And in this instance, all I've done is to put the RFID scanner card in the bottom there and obviously hook it up um, to the SBI bus. And here we have the little lithium cell that's, uh, that's running it and that runs it for uh, a couple of hours, which is uh, enough for this particular project. Let's now show the, the wiring diagram. Here we see the connections between the RFID reader and the LoRa ESP32. This is the arrangement that I came up with. The, the pin outs for this particular uh, development board are rather confusing as not only does the OLED also use the SPI bus, but indeed so does the LoRa. So adding a third device um, was something of a challenge and we'll go through a bit more of that when we take a look at the at the sketch next but suffice it to say ground and 3.3 volts are straightforward the uh, reset pin sorry the rq pin is not connected at all reset to 27 and uh, miso 19 mozzie 23 as clock 18 and finally sda on 5 and we'll see how that maps, as I say, in, uh, in the sketch next. This is the, the sketch now, so um, nothing fancy to begin with, just including the necessary uh, SPI, LoRa, wire, and the graphics library, and the library for the RFID card. Then we define the LoRa uh, SPI interface, followed by the RFID interface. Now this is where I had an awful lot of problems um, trying to use the same pins as the LoRa module. Uh, that just didn't, didn't work out. Just as an aside, if you've ever wondered where the sketch um, finds the values for these if they're not defined, um, we can find that easily. We go down the Ar Arduino uh, code to the ESP32 that we installed and look in the variants folder, we can see all of the definitions for the different cards. And if we choose the Heltec card that, uh, that we're using today, if we look in that folder and find the pins definition, then here is where the, uh, the, the pins are, are set. So if you're having similar issues, you can go into, into this folder and modify those values to, to suit your application. As always, to turn to the uh, internet for an answer, and I managed to find here on uh, on GitHub somebody describing pretty much the same issue, trying to get the RFID, but it just wasn't happening. Eventually, somebody else chimed in with the code that's here, and this is what I've used in uh, in my project, and it it works very well. So thanks very much, guys, uh, to these people here, and especially to uh, Info for uh, providing a solution for us. So the solution is to switch the SPI bus between the two devices. Uh, we'll just go through the rest of the code here briefly, uh, setting up the, the definition for the graphics chip for the RFID. And this is where um, it chooses, you set uh, the values for uh, either talking to the RFID card or to LoRa. So in the setup, initializing everything that we need. And now the magic happens in the loop here. So we put our message out on the screen to scan a tag or card. And then we go into a routine to choose 
the RFID or LoRa. So we have a, a void here, which is SPI select. As I say, I'm not going to go through this in detail. You can refer to the uh, to the other document. And once we've decided which, you know, here is the routine for getting the uh, the ID from the RFID card reader. So here we are actually defining the string, getting the uh, individual bytes from the RFID card, and then that routine is complete. The LoRa part is uh, is essentially the same as from my previous examples. Just uh, sending the uh, UID string that we've uh, just read from the card, send that out, wait for a second, and then go round again. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, but uh, as, as I say, uh, great thanks to those guys for finding the, uh, the solution for the SBI bus problem. So what possible uses could we put this to? Well, I'm sure that there are many that uh, occur to, to, to people. Um, one of the things that we could do is maybe asset management or um, inventory control. Uh, one of these little guys useful perhaps in a, in a warehouse or something completely uh, completely different. Perhaps you organize a, a craft fair and you issue uh, people with uh, these little tags or cards and each booth that they go to, they could uh, scan them and then uh, get information sent back to, uh, to a database. Receiver side could obviously be set um, to connect via Wi-Fi. Don't forget that this board also has uh, Wi-Fi in addition to, to, to LoRa. Uh, so that could connect to a, to a network, to a database to update that. Um, the, the possibilities are, are, are endless. Um, even if you didn't want to, to send the information uh, to a, a database remotely, another thing I thought of was I've also reviewed this little M5 stack module recently. And that has an SD card slot. So if you equipped this with uh, the little RFID card, you'd have a self-contained unit that um, would, would be able to store the information uh, required uh, directly onto an SD card. So uh, the possibilities are, are only limited by your own imagination, really. And uh, just finally, I was going to say, of course, in this demonstration, I've only been showing the uh, the UID of the of the tags but you can obviously write much more information into these tags uh, you know people's names and address email address uh, what have you um, which would be very very useful for, for people to be able to grab quickly